So Jason has a lot of content ideas and we're thinking about, well, how do we uh, categorize them, um, maybe prioritize them? So I'm glad you brought this up, Jason, because I was just going to give this exercise to Master Heart, and I'm going to give it now here, which is to write out a list of 30 content ideas, which I think you've already done, right? Given that you've already written it now. It doesn't have to be in a spreadsheet unless you want, you want to, but you could simply be in the document. So that's the first step. Write out a list of 30 ideas, topics, things you could write about, things you can make videos about, okay? 30 ideas. And then once you've got the 30 ideas down, and it could be addressing, you know, don't limit yourself. It could be addressing different audiences or different segments of your audience. It could be addressing different stages of development. You could address different problems, different issues. You could be using different modalities that you provide if you do. So 30 ideas you could write about or speak about. Great. Now that's in there. The second step is to categorize, to take those 30 and put it under three to 10 categories. I, I give that wide range because uh, the better if it's smaller, if you can, but sometimes bigger is okay. Like for example, I started out with, um, and Jason, you remember this, I started out with the four layers of authentic business. I used to have four. No, I used to have three, right? I, used to, I started with three, authentic marketing, joyful productivity, healthy money. And on my website, still, it's still three. But then I expanded to four. <laughs> and then eventually I expanded to seven. And now I have eight. But I was trying to simplify in the beginning. And I think it's okay. So however you expand, like you may start with three and expand out, or you may start with 10 and then shrink over time because you simplify. I don't care how you do it. That's the second step. Take the 30 and then cut and paste each of the 30 into either three categories all the way up to 10. So, so far so good, Jason? Okay. And then um, finally, the third step, after you've, got, you've done, you know, uh, 30 ideas and then categorizing into three to 10 topic, two, three to 10 categories, sorry. The third step is to put the categories into a priority prioritization of some kind. So uh, the prioritization could be, okay, if somebody is starting to work with me, they probably should get into category one before they get to the category two. That would probably make more sense. So that's one way of thinking about it, like the sequence of them working with you, okay. Another prioritization could be that, okay, this category, category four is like very popular. Like that's a really nice way for people to discover who I am because so many people are searching for it online or they're like, oh my gosh, I need help with that. You know, it's just, it's very popular. So that might be a prioritizing at the top and then let all the way to the least popular. So which one, which, which way should you categorize? Okay, this is my opinion about it. The more you need to grow a bigger audience, the more you should categorize based on popularity. The more you're satisfied with the size of your audience and now you're just trying to like do more body of work stuff and trying to get out of all the people you follow you, you wanna get the right people you know, do the right work with them, then you should put them into sequence. Like, I don't care. You don't like topic one. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it with you. I think you should talk about it. So that's what I, that's what I've done. Like in the beginning, I categorized, I needed the bigger audience. So I categorized it based on, well, authentic marketing people, that's very popular. So I'm going to talk about that more. But now that I have a, I have a big enough audience, I'm categorizing based on what's the first step of an authentic business show for productivity. Not, people don't get it. People aren't searching joy for productivity, right? You know, and, and even people, when I say time management, they're like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really want, I want to work on with your Facebook ad stuff. Okay, got it. I know that's very popular. Okay, fine. But I still force people to go, you know, see what I mean? So, so depending on the size of your audience. So that's step three is to, is, to, is to prioritize the categories. So far, so good. And then finally, step four, once you prioritize the categories, step four is, is um, optional. And it's finally to uh, write out as short of a paragraph as you can, summarizing your categories into one message. I help this type of person who's going through this type of issue get to this type of state or goal 
or dream or yearning, fulfill that by doing this, X, Y, Z. That's one way of saying. Another way of saying it, the shortest possible, I said shortest possible, right? Phrasing of these categories could just be one word, two, three words. So I, that's what I did. I finally got to the shortest possible, authentic business. <laughs> and I, don't, I even forgot what my paragraph was. So you like forced me to say, George, tell us your, I work with this type of person doing this. I, I don't know. I mean, I'll make it up right now if you want me to. But easy for, easiest for me to remember is authentic business. And it's also easy for me to remember my categories. So Jason, is that helpful? Yeah, very, very much so. If I, a quick follow-up, if I may. Yeah, yeah, sure, um, go ahead. So, so then, so, okay. So we've got now 30 or 3,000, you know, at this point, um, content ideas. You've categorized them into um, three to 10 categories. Yeah. Um, you've prioritized your categories. So you go, I'll, I'll focus more so, on so this So there's one a, basically a some kind of sequence or framework, yes. Oh, right. And it's so right. Essentially, you're putting together your framework of three to 10. Ideally, it would be smaller. But um, yeah. and, and then if we want to grow, we'll focus on the ones that are more popular. If yeah. we're more focusing on yes. building our body of work and satisfied, yeah. then I guess my, my quick follow up is so within within now you've got priorities. Let's say I'm focusing on, on this category as a priority. Now, um, prioritizing content within that category, any okay. strategy in terms of which, which ones do I post, um, do I produce yes. first yes. as experiments? Well, the same prior, thankfully, the same prioritizing comes in here. If you want to grow an audience, you, you have to prioritize the most popular right. topic or title within. So earlier, before we started recording, uh, we were just mentioning how, oh, Jason, you happen to Besides all the work you do with neurosemantics and you know, you helping coaches to become more professional in, their, in what they're doing, et cetera, you also happen to be good at helping people with their phobias you know, because you know NLP so well. I'm like, Jason, that's, that's, that should be super popular. <laughs> like, like if you wanted to grow an audience, my gosh, and you haven't created phobia content or solving phobia content, that's an easy one for me. It's like, oh my gosh, if you made phobia content, people are like, share it along. And you can make all kinds of phobia content. Oh, air, you, know, you know, plane rides versus you know, insects versus whatever. So perfect. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>